Welcome to another session of Heart to Brain Learning by Dr. Vanessa Howard. Today's lesson will focus on two comprehension skills, inferencing and predictions. These two reading comprehension skills work closely together. And today I'm going to explain how to tell the difference and how to use them both appropriately. You are probably saying, what is a prediction? Simply put, a prediction is a guess that we make based on information that we see, read, or hear. Predictions is a very good skill to use because it helps us think about a story, it helps us make sense of the story, and it helps us get into the story and the thing that's unique about predictions, it can be right or it can be wrong. What is an inference? Well, an inference comprises of three different things. You figure out what the author is trying to say that is not completely explained in the story. You use what you know, you use what the text says, and then you combine the two and you get an inference. We are going to use inferencing and prediction using this picture. So I want you to take time, look at this picture, and I want you to make a prediction about the person's handprint in the concrete. So look at the concrete, look at its fingers, and look at the fingers and hand of the person next to it. What are your thoughts? My turn. I'm thinking that this is probably a child's hand that's inside of a print of an adult because one hand is bigger than the other. Now this time we're going to use inferencing. I'm going to give you a little bit more information about that hand print and I want you to tell me something about this hand print. <laughs> It's Michael Jordan's. So Michael Jordan has big hand and long fingertips. That hand that's inside of his handprint is a grown person's hand. So based off of knowing that this is Michael Jordan's hand, I can infer that Michael Jordan needs big hands so that he can grasp the basketball better than someone that is not a professional basketball player. So I'm using the information that I know about him. And if I'm thinking about him in my head, this is my picture of Michael Jordan in my head. He has long fingers and fingertips to help him play basketball better. And that's how he became a better basketball player. That's my inference. Based off what I see, what I know, since I know it's Michael Jordan, and then I combined the two thoughts together and came up with my inference. So we're going to use this picture to make a prediction and an inference so that you can understand better how to distinguish between the two. Look at the picture closely. Your prediction can be verified or confirmed or either it's right or it's wrong. Even though it's a guess, you're just making a guess based on the picture. And sometimes the author is trying to surprise you with the story. So my prediction about this picture is that today is going to be a rainy day because it's cloudy outside. So I predict that it's going to be a rainy day but what happens if, it's, if the sun comes out? It may not be a rainy day, or it may be a rainy day. Now, to make an inference about this same picture, I can infer that it would rain today because it's cloudy, 
and the rain clouds appear to be forming. I know that rain clouds look heavy and they have rain or snow in them. The clouds look long and heavy outside today, so I can infer that it is going to rain because of how the clouds are formed and they look heavy and it seems that rain may be coming down out of them. This time we're going to read a story together. Read along with me please. Mom made the sandwiches and put them in the basket along with the fruit and chips. Dad grabbed the big checkered blanket and Robbie got the frisbee. Then the whole family piled into the car and headed out. So, what is my inference? I believe that the family probably went on a picnic. What information did I use to make that inference? Well, mom made a basket Dad grabbed a checkered blanket and Robbie got a frisbee. And the family left and they piled in a car. Hmm. So was my thinking good? I think so. Do I need to change my thinking or change my inference? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, I see the thumbs up. Yes, I did a good job. So I'm going to use this graphic organizer just to check my thinking to make sure that I came up with a very strong inference about the story. So I had a question. Then I have to think about what it says. Then I say what I say. And so I get my prediction. So the question is, was the, where was the family going? I think the family was going on a picnic. It says, in the story, it says mom made sandwiches and put them in a basket and dad got the blanket. I say, I know that most parks do not have a lot of tables or chairs for people to sit or eat comfortably. When my family went on a picnic, my mom put our food in a basket because it was easier to carry. We also brought a blanket to sit on in the grass. And so the family brought the food to eat in a basket, a blanket to sit on, and a frisbee to throw in the park. I can infer that the family was going on a picnic. Now do you understand how this graphic organizer will help guide your thinking? This is a good strategy for you to use. This time you're going to read this passage alone and you're going to answer the question, why was Callie on the pavement? Why was Callie on the pavement? You can pause the video if you need to, but I'm going to push forward with the inference. So I think Callie was on the pavement because she had an accident. In the story, it says that the skateboard was laying upside down a few feet away from Callie. She checked herself to see did she have any blood coming out. She also checked to see did she have any injuries. And her skateboard was popped upside down 
next to her. So that lets me know that she probably had an accident. And so I can infer that Kelly had an accident while she was on her skateboard because she was on the ground. She checked to see did she have any blood or any injuries. Her skateboard was upside down indicating that something went wrong. And so she probably had an accident. Quick review. Making a prediction, you're making a guess based off of the clues from the text about what you hear, what you see, based off the title, the pictures, and the content. Your answer may be right or it may be wrong. Or the author is trying to surprise you, but making a prediction is just a guess. Remember when you are inferencing that you take in two different types of information, what you read, what you know, and you combine those two to make your inference. If you do all of those things, you will become a very good and strong reader. Prediction and inferencing go hand in hand together, but predictions have a right or a wrong answer. It can be yes or it can be no, but an inference can have many answers, but it's always based off what you've read combined with what you know. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.